Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building, the return. Yes, the sir. Social Geek viral movie. Y'all niggas know what the fuck going on. Welcome to the show, my brother. Let's go. Sosa actually hit me up. Let's and go. the second he hit me up, I was like, hell yeah. I'm like, we got to make this happen. We got to do this. Yeah, so, we had to go viral. I seen you was going viral. I said, you going viral? I had to go viral. And you man. always going viral, so it's just like, it just made sense that we do this. Yeah, it made sense that we had to go viral one time. We're going to have you hop on the freestyle, too. It's going to be, you know, we're going to have, have a good time here today. All right, come on. Let's do it. How you been, bro? You know what I'm saying? I know, you know, you've been home for a little bit. The return, literally. The return. How you how you been since you've been back? How's everything, you know? Shit, I've been focused, man. I've been trying to get my mind right, just mm -hmm. focusing. Trying to do new things, man. Experiencing new things, you know? Just trying to take it one day at a time. I'm you know saying That's what being away kind of... Yeah, being away kind of made me want to come out and like, like really just like sit down and like really just like focus on my talent and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause I, like, I always was focused on my talent, but I had other things that were distracting me. Mm. So I had to like, you know, less distractions. Do you feel like the distractions just kind of came with like the territory of being an artist sometimes too? Yeah, it came with just the lifestyle. Yeah, where cause even with now, it's still sometimes it's distracting, but I'm learning how to like. Ignore them and get them out of the way, mm. and not like entertain them. What do you, what do you, I guess, tell yourself when those distractions pop up? Like, how do you kind of get yourself out of that mode where you're like, all right, I'm gonna be distracted? Like, how do you center yourself uh, again? I tell myself, nope, can't go back that way. You gotta keep going. <laughs> gotta keep going. I can't go back. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. The only way, only way I know is to go up. Can't go backwards. So I just tell myself, like, nope, I can't go back that way. So I know I gotta do it this way. Word. So with the return, so we obviously we had like the return of the geek, right? And then mm -hmm. we had the return, which dropped in November. Um, mm -hmm. With that record, why did you kind of want that to be like the like the record that you know coming back November, the return, end of the year? Why was why that one? Um, was it more of a statement for you too? Yeah, that song mean a lot to me. That song actually mean a lot to me. I wrote that song like actually like in my cell. I thought about that song mm -hmm. when I was locked up. I thought about this song. And I was like, you know, that song just touched me a lot. So I was just like, you know what? I want the people to hear this. And I want to see if it touched them the same way that it touched me. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's, that's it. So the song even has like a deeper meaning. Because it's not just yeah. like, you know, some song that you just made one day in yeah, the studio. Nah, it was gotta, like something that was like. It's actually, that's why it's called the, the Return for a reason. Mm -hmm. And then when you actually like listen to the words, it's actually like all oh, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like if you actually like listen to the words or what I'm saying. And then look at what I named it, and then look at the outcome. It's actually like you know, it's like a story. Mm -hmm. So it's back. Yeah. So with that, and you know, even with the project this summer, which I thought was really cool, because on that project you also showed like a bit of your diversity in your music too, because you also hopped on like a West Coast beat, which I thought was so cool. Yeah, there's some West Coast shit. There's some West Coast shit. Like you know what it is with me though. Like I got lit. I made it, like, we got lit with drill. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows, right, that we lit, we do drill, you know, Favi Sosa, viral movie, you know, AAA. But it's like, sometimes I feel like people want to know and see, like, what you could do other than that. You of know course. What I'm like, that's cool, that's great, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel what I'm saying? But I try to take my mind in a different type of lane and try to be versatile and go in like different directions, you feel what I'm saying? And like, even though I go in these different directions, but I still stay in my own lane mm -hmm. and keep it the way I want to make it. So I was hear something, I'm like, yo, that's hard right there. You know what, let me try that. If it, if it don't work for me, then it don't work for me. Mm -hmm. If not, if it do, then I'll just take it and switch it and use it my way. Or just take the same idea and think like, damn, if he came up with this idea, then I could come up with this idea and I could do the same shit or I do it even better. Mm -hmm. I think people forget, like, you know, sometimes when you get, when you're in that New York, you know, that New York mindset, like, especially with, like, a lot of people who even listen to drill music, they forget that there's things outside of drill music sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's other things that you could do, other it's, things it's, that you it's could it's touch. It's other shit other than, like, other than drill, it's other shit other than, like, drill music. Mm -hmm. There's, like, other, yeah, and, you know, with that, like, with the West Coast stuff, too, because I, I personally love West Coast music. And I love Draco, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Draco so, the Ruler. Shout out to Draco the Ruler. For that, when I heard that record on the project, I was like, damn, I'm like, how did this How did this happen? So how did you link up with him? And Ra Rafi's on the song too, right? Yeah. Yeah, how did y'all link up? <laughs> I was in L.A. I do a lot of, like, you know, like, moving around and, like, 
really like trying to expand my mind. Like I say, like I be trying to like you know just I don't like to stay in one place, so I like to move around, mm. meet new people, um, get into new things and shit like that. So I was in L.A. and I was with one of my boys, and I, you know I met I met him. We sat down, chopped it up. Cool dude. We just went to the studio. He was in the studio. Just caught a vibe. The rest was history. Yeah, the rest is history. And I love that. And I love how you also have that mindset to like do other things. Because I saw, uh, I saw that you working on like your own TV show too, right? Yeah, I got my own TV show. I'm working on it. I'm gonna make a, my own TV show and show the world, like, because for the average person, right? Mm. Everyone they know me when they see me, they say movie viral, right? But like, just like with the song. If you really understood, like, there's a deeper meaning to when you say that. Mm -hmm. Because, see, when you say that, it's just like, oh, hey, yeah, Sosa. Sosa gave movie viral. But when I say that, it's like, I really mean that. Like, that's really what's going on. Mm -hmm. Like, my life is really, like, it's like, my life is real. Life is real. It's mm -hmm. not a joke. But I consider my life is, like, almost, like, kind of like a little movie, mm -hmm. I, can, I would say. Like, my type of movie. Like it is like if I I feel like if I had like a camera, like twenty four seven, to like record the things that happens in my life or that I do and shit like that, I feel like it probably be like one of the biggest TV shows in the world. Word. Like what would we call your TV show or what are we gonna call your TV show? <laughs> shit, I don't know, but I know it would be one of the biggest TV shows in the world. It probably be geeked up. Geeked up. Okay, I like geeked that. Geeked up adventures or. The Geek Family, <laughs> just a bunch of us just <laughs> going crazy. Yeah, Geek Family, that's it right there. You gotta have a camera like following you around. You gotta get like yeah. you gotta get like that person that's just with you twenty four seven. I got a person that following me around, but I still have I still ain't really make it twenty four twenty four seven. Mm, okay. And he'll be with me for about ten hours. Mm. I guess but I'm talking about like actually twenty four hours. Having somebody just walking around with you type shit. Yeah, like at like twenty like. I'm talking about like all day, like you, like everywhere, like even mm. if you going like if you going to the doctor, they go to the doctor. They're gonna be right there with you. Yeah, like the doctor, like almost like security, like every like 24 hours, every day. And that's kind of like that also like shows like your entrepreneurship too, because you know aside from like the move the the show that you're working on, um, you got like the the energy drink, the snacks and yeah, whatnot I got my too. Energy drinks and shit too. I think I think the first person I saw post that was a uh, hip hop Mike. Yeah. A while ago, shout out hip hop Mike. Yeah, hip -hop now it's corporate Mike, but yeah. still hip hop Mike to me. Yeah. Um, but I saw I saw you had it in a bunch of different um of like the exotic snack locations and whatnot. Yeah, I try to I try to brand off and do that shit. I had my own clothing line going for a minute too. I had stopped doing that, but we finna make it back. But yeah, the energy drink that was something else I I looked into doing because I was like, you know what? A lot of people are so like attracted to like Sosa Geek and Sosa Geek mm -hmm. brand and geeked up and shit. so I'm like, you know what? Shit, if I come out with my own energy drinks and some snacks and some shit like that, people will buy it. People mm. will like it because, you know what I'm saying? It's advertising me. You know what I'm saying? It's saying geeked up. Everybody know I'm geeked. People want to be geeked like me. So, hey, you know what? Drink this drink right here. It's an energy drink. You might just feel like me. I got to try it. I haven't tried it yet. Hours. I haven't tried it yet. Go ahead. Try one. Is it strong? Shit, you might be. Oh, man. I might be geeked up for like... Couple hours, about nine months. Nine months, nine months is crazy. Nine months, wide awake for nine months straight. <laughs> no. And I like the branding because the branding also matched like the album cover too at the time. Yeah, so it all kind of looked like very my cohesive. Chain cover, all that. It, like it very like I don't know. I like how you brand all your stuff too because it's all very concise. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you see it, you're like, okay, I know that's Sosa Geek. Yeah. And it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to um, new music, you know, because we're, we're we're in 2022, right? What do you have going on? What we got coming up? What do, oh, what do people got to be on lookout for? Because I know you ready to... I got like probably like 400 songs right now. That's just, 400 songs. That I can just guarantee like they okay. just all just like fire. Like it's to the point where like my rapping process is so crazy set up to the point where it's like I don't know what's wrong with me myself. Like mm -hmm. I just don't know. When I go to the studio, it's like I just turn into a different type of person when I'm in the booth. I don't know what it is. So it's like for new music in 2022, it's like, I got so much music. But it's not about really just about having the music. It's about really understanding how to organize 
and put the music out in the right places mm -hmm. to get the right marketing and the right feedback that you need. Right. So, yes, I have a whole lot of music that I'm working on that I got right now that I'm finna put out in 2022. But I'm also working on the business tip so everything could be straight when I pull out, put this music out in 2022. You understand? Know Word. So what would be your advice as someone who's been doing it for a minute? What would be your advice to a lot of these young artists right now who are coming up? You know, I mentioned that, like, um, there'd be, like, new artists popping up, like, every day. What would be your some of your personal advice to, like, some of these young guys who are making music out here? Uh, yeah, that's it. Man, listen. <laughs> See, is it, when you say that, it's funny because ain't nobody never really tell me that. Mm. So, do, do you but, wish somebody told you? Yeah, kind of, but they never, yeah, I do, but they never told me. I just had to figure it out. But I did have good peoples that was next to me that wanted to see me win. Like, shout out to my brother Fabio Foreign. He was one of the dudes that was next to me. Mm -hmm. wanted to see me win. My boy Crippy, somebody that's with me since day one, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of other people, too, that helped me, that was next to me, that told me I could do this. Because I always wasn't, I always wasn't just a rapper. Like, I didn't want to be a rapper, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, this is not... Like, I went to sleep, and, like, I was dreaming, like, hey, I want to be the biggest rapper in the world. It just, like, happened. It just kind of happened for you. Yeah, because of who I am and what I had going on, just the talent that I had to entertain people, to make, walk in a room and make the whole room stand up, laugh, you know what I'm saying, get happy. So Have a good time. Have a good time. So basically it all comes down to energy. Right. You know what I'm so, yeah. So that would be your advice to people? Oh, no. So, oh, yeah, back to that. <laughs> I thought we were you talking could, about, like, an energy yeah, type yeah, of advice. I was too. like, I was like, all so right. So my advice to the person would be most likely to just, like, you know, remain humble, be patient, just know that anything is possible in this world that you could do it. You don't have to be a rapper just to do certain things. So you don't have to... Because you see the rap life and you see Ferraris and Lamborghinis, mm -hmm. you don't have to want to rap to do that. You feel what I'm saying? You could do other things. You could go cook food right now and become the biggest chef and be a, and be able to get around the same people that rappers hang around just off of cooking and be enjoying the same lifestyle, driving fast cars, big jewelry, and you're not a rapper. So you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Basically, you could do anything you want to do in this world. Stay in your own lane. Remain humble. Be patient. Yeah. It's a good advice. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of, I, you know, when I bring a lot of... Because a lot of people want to be like, a lot of people feel like, like, all right, Lil Baby. Yo, I want to be like Lil Baby. How oh, damn, how Lil Baby do that? How Lil Baby do this? Do that? You don't have to be a rapper to, to, to do the same thing Lil Baby doing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. There's a million other ways to there's make million, money out here. There's a million other ways. You can get lit and be around the same people. We had somebody... You can get in the kitchen right now, cook one dish, and serve it to the right person one time. And then all of a sudden, you you're, you and got a new job. Going. Now you, you got a new job. Yeah. Now it's consistency. Now you keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now by the time you know it, everybody around the world eating your food. Mm. Now guess what? Now you got people like Little Baby, same people that coming to you to buy your food. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a random example, but it's like yeah. you think about all the people who who blew up off TikTok during the pandemic, it's like one video made them yeah. millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars just because of one video. Yeah. Like, don't sit down and be stagnated. Always, I always learn that. Don't sit down and be stagnated. Yeah, stagnated. Always yeah. get up and want to do something for yourself. Mm. Even if you don't know what you want to do, still get up. Right. I don't give a fuck if you got to get up and take a walk. Walk until you figure something out. Walk until you find out a plan. Just don't sit there. When you sit there, you're wasting time. You got lazy. You feel what I'm saying? You're getting lazy. Mm -hmm. You're laying down. The only people that make money laying down on their back is prostitutes. You know nobody else can make no money on their back. <laughs> Not real shit, though. You know nobody else can make money on their back. Right. So you have to get up to actually, like, want to do shit. You feel what I'm saying? And want to, like, achieve shit and do mm -hmm. goals. You can't just set goals and be like, hey, I want a Lamborghini. But then you sit down all day, like, every day, I want a Lamborghini. But then you just sit down... I want a Lamborghini. You have to get up and try to get a Lamborghini. Go to the Lamborghini store. Find out how much it is. See what the down payment is. All right, now leave the Lamborghini. Figure out now what can you do to get the money so you can go back to Lamborghini. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I do different things. 
And you were someone told you all this when you were coming up. Yeah. They didn't tell me that like that, but I got some advice from a couple. People. No, you said like you said you had like Fabi around you, yeah, you had some yeah. good people around you who would, who would, who, yeah, who would stand there with you. Yeah, I you know I, I try to do that a lot with like the young artists who like come here, like the brand new artists. I'd be like, look, make sure you you got your your music up on your shit. Make sure you got it up everywhere. Make sure you got control of your YouTube or the SoundClouds. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because these people like just be me. smart about it. If people rob you, they rape you. Yeah. Cause they do. They take your money. They see you. You got talent and you got potential, and they think that you don't got nothing going on. He's from the hood. He don't have nothing going on. He has talent. I'm gonna pull him towards me. Then when they pull you towards you, get what they get to you. Then they put you back into the wolves, back into the streets. Mm -hmm. That's not pure, like like genuinely. Right. It's not. Do you feel like right now? Do you feel like New York music as a whole is in a good place right now? Like yes, what are your kind of, of thoughts it on that? It is. Is it in a good place? You're going viral by the second. Everybody going viral by the second. Everybody going viral by the second. Yeah. But that's what's supposed to happen. Right. You it feels like we finally back at that yeah. point where it's like, all right, cool. We got like a ton of artists yeah. everywhere versus like, you know, 10 years ago where it was kind of like a that's little bit that, quieter. That's what's supposed to happen. Everybody supposed to be in the lane, opening up one a door for one another, going in, knocking the door down, doing what they doing, and getting the, the ball rolling and the show rocking. And going viral. And going viral. So we got some new music on the way from you in 2022. We got yeah. a new project. I mean, we got 400 songs in the vault. Yeah. So when can people expect Shit. some new music? I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna drop a, uh, I'm finna drop a video in like two weeks just because you said it. Then I'm gonna drop a tape probably like on my birthday. My birthday, January 13th. I'm gonna make sure this comes out so, before January 13th just uh, for you. Yeah, I'm finna drop a tape probably on my birthday. I'm finna drop one. You already here first, January thirteenth. Yeah, Sosa finna, Geek. I, I'm probably finna drop one. On, yeah, I'm gonna do and it. And if like not, that. it's coming. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I could damn near drop it now if I wanted to, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I wanted to make sure I get a a good rollout, get everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be tactical about yeah, it. Yeah, I like I like my shit organized and shit when I put it up, so it'd be right. Word. Well, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for your for you know your 2022, your future. You know, again, welcome back, the return. We are here. Um, we gonna have you hop on this freestyle. Uh, anything else that people got to know before we sign off here for the day? This camera right over here. Shit. Shit. Stay humble. Be humble. Be patient. That's it, man. Where can they follow you at? Oh, follow me? Oh, shit. Social Geek, my Instagram. I got TikTok. I, you know what's crazy, though? That's why I say it. That's why I need a camera. Because I go viral every day, but I don't even post it on TikTok. <laughs> like, if I posted what I did every day, it, on TikTok, go crazy. <laughs> like I'll probably break TikTok. Like it wouldn't be TikTok. Everybody, it just all, be just all like these people here is laughing. It just be like true. it just be like tick. It wouldn't even talk. Like it wouldn't be no talk to it. Like, it would just be like, but, you feel me? Yeah, TikTok, social geek, everything. Yeah, social geek, all, all platform. Well, make sure you go follow him. He's gonna eventually post more on TikTok. Yeah, I'm gonna start posting more on TikTok. I just gotta get with it. More just, of his day to day life. Yeah, my day. I be having so much shit going on, bro. I don't never really be having time. Check my phones. I got two phones. Got both his phones here with him right now. Yeah, man. Well, well, we about to have you hop on this freestyle. So if you're watching this, you know the deal. It's gonna be out tomorrow, or it might be out right now, depending on when you're watching it. January 13th. Make sure you wish him a happy birthday. Yeah. Project sir. gonna be out. Um, videos, all that good stuff. Make sure you go get the the geeked up soda. That's what that's yeah. what it's called. Geeked up energy drink. Geeked up energy drink. Out. Don't drink too many of them at one time. I'm telling you now, you'll be geeked up for nine months. Yeah, more than that. You drink too many of them. Well, in nineteen months. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, make sure you go follow him. Make sure you go run up all the new music on the way. Uh, make sure you go run up that freestyle when it drops. And until next time, Sosa Geek on the radar, my yes, brother. Sir. I appreciate brother. you. Love.